welcome to Coder and Boots. So today we are going to discuss about the topic how to enable password authentication in an EC2 instance. So by default in Linux based EC2 instances, password authentication is not enabled. So uh, the login mechanism is through the private key, the SSH key pair based login. So it is to enable the security, enhance the security of login mechanism. The reason is the password based authentication is not that secure. Okay. Because uh, by default, if you just use the normal password based authentication, it is not having any MFA multi-factor authentication or anything. So it is just like a username password, user name and a password. Okay. So what happens is as these uh, instances are public, okay, public means by default when you provision uh, majority of the users, the normal users, they provision instances on the public network. So, and these machines are exposed uh, in the internet. So people can try with basically the attackers, hackers uh, in the internet, they try attacking these machines with various combinations of username and password. So uh, what I'm trying to say is it is very easy to crack a password based authentication than uh, a key based authentication in a system with key based authentication. That's the reason they are not enabling password based authentication by default in an EC2 instance. But there will be scenarios where we need to enable password based authentication, uh, the default password based authentication in, in Linux machine. So for that, we will need to make a small configuration change in the EC2 instance uh, that is going to be in the, in the SSS section. So once we enable that change, then this system will start accepting password based. We can create users and enable passwords for those users. So I'll show you uh, how to make this change in an instance. So this is my EC2 instance. So I'm going to create a user. So uh, EC2 user is a default user. I'm going to create another user. So here, so sudo user add. I'm creating a user, user 02, okay. So I'm creating a, going to create a second user in this machine, user 02. So by default, as I explained, there is no password authentication enabled in this machine. So for enabling password authentication, what we need is we need to modify a file. So the file is located in, basically the file is the SSH configuration file, okay. So etc, the location is etc, SSH, sshd underscore config. In this file, so I'm repeating the file again, slash etc, slash ssh, slash sshd underscore config, okay? So I'm going to open, I'm using nano editor, you can use VA editor or whatever, Vim or whatever editor you are comfortable with, okay? So if you scroll this file, if you check this file, you will see, you will see a commented line, something like password authentication, Okay, you see here password authentication, it is disabled. Okay, value is no. So I'll make it S. Okay, so I'll make the password authentication S. Permit empty password that let it be no because I'm not going to permit any uh, any passwords which has empty value. I'll enable this value to S. Okay, and then save this file. Okay, now I'm going to restart the because without restarting the SSH service, this won't work. Okay, I'll restart the SSH service for that service SSH D restart. It quicks quickly restarts. Okay, so ensure you don't make any wrong entries in this file because if you make any wrong entries, if you try to restart, what will happen is the service will stop. Okay, then you won't be able to access this machine. This will again become like a broken kite and you will end up in recovering this machine using the mechanism that I explained in one of the previous videos. So if you want to uh, understand how to recover a corrupted instance, watch my previous video, it is there in the videos list. How to, the topic is like how to recover an EC2 instance. Okay, so now we have restarted the SSH service. So now, previously we created a user, user2, but we have not set the password, right? So let's set the password for user02, password user02. Right now I am executing the command from root, that's why I'm not using sudo here. So if you are executing it from EC2 user, you have to use sudo prefix okay user is row 2 so it will ask for password okay so I am setting a password here okay so it is saying bad password the password fails the dictionary word okay so what will have what I'll have to give a stronger password
so i think i mean i'll have to give very very strong password so let me try again so okay <laughs> okay okay so password is set right now so i, I set the password now let's try to log into this machine duplicate session i am going to use user 02 it lasts for a password okay because it's not a okay, key based authentication so okay now you see logged in okay so now let's try again so let's get the ip address again from this here so this is the ip address i'm going to sorry this is not pretty I'm going to pass the IP address open so 02 password I am passing okay see login happened so without using key okay so I have configured password to this user I am able to log into this machine this user this machine using this user okay so this is the mechanism to enable password authentication in an ec2 instance okay very simple step in just five minutes you can enable this okay so thank you thank you for watching this video i hope this video is helpful so if you have any questions or comments or feedbacks uh, please comment below this video thank you thank you very much